Hello everyone and welcome back to the 7th episode of Telspire Building Tips. Today, we will finally clean and shower board and we will have done all the steps necessary to create an asset from the designing phase to the sharing phase. Once your build is finished for you, always have a cleaning pass. You need to check for bug tiles if any have appeared, duplicates or ziffiting, holes in your build, any mistake you would have made and forgot, any aesthetic issues that still bother you, it's time to fix them, and you can delete all the tiles that are not useful. Better keep the build light, if you don't see something, it's probably not useful. Here with the board, I'm also touching up the borders of the board so that everything looks a bit nicer. Now that your board is all cleaned up, you can then copy and paste it as you will. You can use the selection tools by dragging and clicking with the left click at the same time and you can release the click to select the height of your selection tool. The bounding box of the selection tool can be modified by using the gizmos for precision. You can change height, width and length that way. Once your build is selected, you can simply copy and paste it with your usual keyboard shortcut. You can also deselect with a right click. This way, you can copy and paste your build all over your boards, but you can also save them and share them to the community. First, to save them, you can simply select and copy a build and then simply paste the result in a notepad. Telspire does it automatically and your build is transformed into a string of text. Always remember to save correctly the file. You can copy and paste everything in your own board without much limitation, but what you can share through a notepad or as a string of text is currently limited to the clipboard size of Windows. The maximum size of a string of text is around 30 kilo octet to 39 kilo octet. As you can see, when a slab is too big, you can copy it in Telsperior, but when you try to paste it, instead of a string of text, the game displays you that you've reached the maximum size allowed for the Windows clipboard. To reduce that size, you can always delete assets or remove all assets of one kind so that the string of text will be lighter for the game to handle. Reducing building complexity overall is always a good step, and as said in the precedent episode, always watch out when using clipping as you will highly increase the complexity of your building by using clipped assets. Currently, the selection tool is limited in size. While very big, I sometimes attain this limit as my build tends to be quite gigantic. Keep in mind that you may not select everything that you build and you may need to select multiple parts of it or share it in multiple pieces. The best practices to share a build is to make it a square shape as it allows for clean borders and easier selection. If needed, you may also prepare your set so that you can cut it into pieces that are easier to share. Note that you have saved your build into a notepad or a string of text we will call it a slab. You can share slab within community website that I've displayed here. There is one called Tales Tavern and currently another called Tales Bazaar. There may be other in the future, but the process is always the same. You can simply upload the slab of text generated by the game onto those websites with an image and a small description and you'll have all you need to share your slab. People in the community will be able to copy and paste your slab and you can as well copy and paste any build from the Tales Bazaar or the Tales Tavern by clicking the copy button and copy and pasting into your board. That way you can access thousands of builds made by the community and see all the various and different creations the community has produced. With this episode, our tutorial series is finally finished. The tutorial house is now available for you to download and review and learn from it. In our tutorial, we have created an asset from designing it to sharing it with plenty of details and personality. Make sure to follow all the tips we've reviewed and always try out new styles and ideas to grow as a Telspire builder. 
I hope that you learn a lot of things during this tutorial series and have a good day.